Last time we started building our search function so we can actually search for users now in our application. Now we need to work on a way to navigate to different users' profiles. And that's what we're going to work on in this one. So we, we basically need two situations. We need, we're going to use profile activity, but there's two different situations. There's either the, the currently logged in user navigating to their own profile, or there's the currently logged in user navigating to someone else's profile. So there's two situations we need to handle. So let's create a new class in, in the utility package. And I'm going to call it uh, view profile at view profile fragment, actually. And actually, you know what, I'm just going to copy um, profile fragment because it's going to be it's going to be almost exactly the same. So delete view profile fragment, the one that I just made and copy uh, profile fragment and paste it into the utility package and just call it view profile fragment. So you can see, notice the naming convention I'm using here. So view, view comments fragment is kind of the universal view comments to, for anybody to view comments. The view post fragment is for anybody to view a post. And then view profile fragment is going to be for anybody to view someone else's profile. Just like profile fragment is for somebody viewing their own profile, view, view profile fragment is going to be for somebody viewing someone else's profile. So notice kind of the naming conventions that I'm using there. Okay, so to start this whole process off, we're going to be inside search activity and we'll have selected a user. So let's go down into our update users list into the list view on click listener. And we're just going to use an intent and navigate to profile activity. So equals new intent and search activity dot this and we're going to go to profile activity dot class. Uh, but we need to attach an extra because we're going to need to differentiate between those two situations that I just mentioned. So get string r dot string dot. We'll use the calling activity flag, and this is where we're going to put the activity name that we're coming from. So this is going to be search activity. So just do search activity, and I don't have that string yet. So we're going to go into our strings file and create that values and strings and intent extras. No, we want activity names. Do I have some yeah, activity names right here. So this is going to be search activity. And so this this is to let the the activity let profile activity know that okay, we're coming from search activity. So that's the situation we're dealing with right now. And then of course, we need to attach the user so put extra get string r that string dot user and I don't have that string either so I guess I need to create another one so go back into strings go into the intent extras section right here and we're going to add a new extra just gonna call it user user actually we could call it like intent user intent user and close the strings file and then change this to intent user and then attach the user so m users get position uh, what do we got what's going on here and this error is probably because it's not parsable so let's go and open the user class and yeah it's not parsable so let's do that so we'll implements parsable and then just implement all the methods that it requires so wait for the little red light bulb to pop up whenever it's going to do that. There we go. Implement methods. And we've got to implement a few more methods here. There we go. Close the user class and that error goes away. Perfect. Now we can do start activity and pass that intent. So now we can go into search activity or sorry, profile activity. And we can differentiate between those two situations. So I don't know if we have an init method. Yes, we do. So inside init, we basically just want to get the incoming intent and then check for extras. And depending on what extra it is, we can navigate to either view profile fragment or profile fragment. So intent, intent equals get intent. And we can say if intent dot has extra and get string r dot string dot calling activity. So if it has that extra, then we know we're coming from the search activity. So searching for user object 
attached as intent extra. So we can go and use our, we can actually just use this. Actually, we can go up to here. We can copy all this, copy this stuff inside of our view uh, comment thread listener and paste that in here. And we just need to change the fragment to view uh, profile fragment to view profile fragment. And we're not going to be attaching a photo. We're going to be attaching the user object. So intent user, and this is going to be, we can get the user from the intent. So get, get parsable extra, get string, r dot string dot intent user. And then we need to, of course, change this. This has got to be view. This has got to be view profile profile fragment. And we need to create that new string. So let's go into the strings file. Go into fragments, fragment names. Here we go. And just copy the profile fragment. And below that, we can do view profile fragment. So view profile fragment. And that error goes away. And we probably should do, I guess, one more check inside here too. Just do if the intent dot has extra get string r dot string dot intent user, just to double check. Although it shouldn't, there th there doesn't exist a situation when calling it would have calling activity and it wouldn't have intent user. But that's okay. We can test it anyway. And go else uh, toast. I uh, just say something. Something went wrong. And so if it doesn't have an intent from calling activity, then we just want to carry on with our regular procedure, which would mean that the user is just navigating to his own profile. And that would be that. We could write a log here saying inflating profile and do something here, inflating view profile. That should be good. So that will take us to those two different fragments. So these fragments are going to be very similar. They're only actually going to differ with respect to this edit profile button. Like if a user is navigating to their own profile, obviously that edit profile button needs to be there. But if they're navigating to someone else's profile, then that needs to be either a follow button or an unfollow button. So we just need to create a couple different layouts for that. So let's go and create a new layout file. So new layout and we're going to call it Actually, we're going to copy fragment, uh, profile fragment here. Just copy that and paste it into layout and call it uh, fragment view profile. So fragment view profile. And if you noticed in fragment view profile, the only thing we need to change is this kind of top layout here. So it'll be this layout center profile. So we're going to look for layout center profile, copy that, paste it into layout. And we're going to call it layout center view profile. And we just need to change this one very slightly. Basically, we just need to get rid of this edit profile button and, and uh, change it to a follow button. So if you'll notice, uh, the snippet top profile is the one that actually holds that edit your profile widget right there. So we need to create or copy the snippet top profile. So let's go back into here, copy snippet top profile, paste that into layout, and we'll go snippet top view profile. And now this is the one where we can change our to our follow button here. Whoops, I can leave that open. So let's see, it's the very bottom one, I believe. So this right here is what we want to change. Okay, so we need three situations. Number one is showing the edit your profile widget if it's the same user visiting their own profile. So I'm just going to copy that whole widget there and paste it down below. And this second one is going to be for, we're going to call it text following. And we're going to change the text to following. So we have three situations. One, if it's the user visiting their own profile, in which case the edit your profile widget should stay there. And then the other two will be either unfollow or follow. So I'm going to copy, I'm just copying this whole widget and I'm going to paste it above here. And this one I'm going to name uh, ID to follow and then just change the text to follow. And this one's going to be kind of the default, I guess you could say. So I'm not going to set it to invisible. 
but now I'm going to set the edit your profile one to invisible. So just do visibility to gone and copy the follow text view widget and I'm going to paste it below and this one I'm going to call unfollow and change the text to unfollow and then set this one also to visibility gone. So then in our in our profile fragment file we can decide which which situations to do. And the unfollow text view widget I actually want it to have a red background with white writing and the and the follow one I want to have with blue background with white writing. So let's create a new drawable. Go to project and into drawables and let's copy one. Let's copy the black border. So just copy and then paste that into drawables. And this one I'm going to call just, uh, I guess we can just call it follow button. And it's going to be pretty simple. Link blue and then also the interior is going to be link blue. And that looks actually kind of dark. And we're going to set a small radius on the corners. So corners and then radius and just do 2 dp. And that should be pretty good. So now I'm going to copy the follow button, paste it in, and this is going to be the unfollow button. So unfollow button. And there's no difference here. We're just going to change this to uh, some kind of red. It doesn't look like I have any reds, so I'm going to have to create a new red color. So go into colors, and we'll just add a new red color here. I'll do, uh, I guess, just do dark red CC0000. Yeah. And go back here and do dark red and then also that one there that'll be that'll be our follow and our um, unfollow buttons so let's close those drawable files and go back into our preview and just set those so this is the follow button uh, is there already a background yep so the background will get that uh, follow button and the unfollow we'll get that uh, unfollow button background. And that's kind of dark, but uh, I guess I could change it really quick. Okay, go into uh, colors, and we're going to change this link blue to 4D94FF. That'll be it. Oops. 4D94FF. That'll be a lighter color. Let's check out the... Yeah, that's a better color. There we go. That looks more like Instagram's follow button. And then we also need to change the text color to white. And same with this one, change the text color to white. And that's good. So now we have our layouts ready for our different situations. And in the next one, we'll start writing the code for our view profile fragment. So I'll see you guys in that next video.